So I don't think this is what Zora intended when she created these products, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. And that is I'm going to take one of her meat bars, in this case the Parmesan beef, and I'm going to combine it with one of her cup of soup, which in this case is the mushroom beef soup. Put them together into one healthy protein rich snack. If you're interested in seeing what it looks and tastes like, keep watching. Okay, I'm just waiting for my water to come to a boil, which will be very soon. And I thought I would um, just talk a little bit about the two products that I'm going to be making my snack out of. So I'm going to be using the Parmesan beef with tomato, basil and kale wild Zora meat bar. And I think I've talked about uh, these meat bars before in at least one other video. And what's uh, really cool about them is there's no gluten, soya, nuts or grain. It does contain real cheese. It is made with 100% grass fed beef. And uh, that's pretty much it. Well, I, I will read the ingredients because it's only short. Grass-fed beef, Parmesan cheese, organic vegetables and fruit, including red bell pepper, apricots, dates, basil, kale, tomato, garlic and celery. There are some sea salt and spices added and the spices are not uh, specifically mentioned what they are. So one of these packages contains two little tiny meat bars, which I've had before, and they mount to 110 calories. But what's really cool about them is how many? Uh, nine grams of protein. That's a, you know, that's a high protein count for such a small little snack. And that's what the beauty of these things are, is that they may be light in calories, but they're high in protein, which carries you further than just simple carbohydrates do. The soups, I don't think I've tried one of these before on camera, but I have tried a few of them that were sent to me for the testing. This one is the mushroom beef soup, again by Wild Zora. It is a no gluten, no grain or added sugars, and no nightshades. Also made with 100% grass-fed beef. It makes one cup. Now they say 8 to 10 ounces. It's simply a matter of emptying this package into the cup and stirring. And it does say that it needs to be stirred constantly while you read it, and that's been my my experience. So again, the ingredients are grass-fed beef, organic carrots, pumpkin, cabbage, green onion, mushrooms, celery, nutritional yeast, turmeric, sea salt, marjoram, and thyme. So that's uh, what comes in this little soup at least. So I think my water's hot. Let me check. We have a nice boil happening here. So I am going to take my pot off. Where's my spoon? I guess I was not quite quick enough to get ready here because what I wanted to do is cut this beef into little pieces. I can quickly show you it's just two little meat bars. They smell great and they oh, I've got a little extra on this one. I want to cut that up into small pieces here because I'm going to add that right into the soup. That'll take a second to do. those all in half. Do the same thing with this one. Cut those all in half. Pretty much anyway. Yeah, my water's definitely boiling now and I need my bandana for this. I'm actually just going to lay it on the bandana. i to put my alcohol stove out. Okay, hot water. Let's add the soup. I'll show you what the soup looks like inside of the package. It's not, no, it's not a lot to see, I guess, inside of the package. Just the ingredients. Drop those in. Drop the meat in. And I'm going to give it a stir. Now, it should rehydrate instantly, but I'm just going to give it a couple of seconds to rehydrate and cool down because it was boiling hot. And then we'll do a taste test. All right. You know, it's early June here in Halifax, and we had been enjoying high teens, low 20s temperatures at Celsius, of course, for the last couple of weeks, no rain, which we've been desperately looking for, uh, mostly, well, obviously for the farmers and for the crops and for our grass on our front lawn, but also so that the fire risk is reduced and I can start having campfires again, but still no rain relief. 
but the temperatures dropped so it's right around 12 degrees Celsius right now cloudy and windy so what does that mean cold well cold compared to what I've been used to it's not cold com winter cold but cold cold colder than it has been for a little while so a nice hot soup on a day like this would actually be a real nice thing all right so I've been about five minutes I guess I'll have to rehydrate it I'm going to try and give you an example of what it looks like kind of hard so let me tip the camera down So the soup itself has a pale green color. A lot of that would be from the kale, of course. You can probably see a lot of the vegetables and things floating around in there. You may be able to see in that spoon the little chunks of beef. Let's see if I can drain some of it off. So there is quite a bit of beef right in the cup of soup. And where's a couple of those pieces of meat? Now that's pieces of the Zora's meat bar that I cut up and put in. They did swell up a little bit, so they should be a little softer. And right, let's reorient the camera. And give this a try. Up a little higher. There we go. Hmm. Wow. Okay, the soup is fine on its own. But by adding in that meat bar, and it was the Parmesan meat bar, it actually really brought the flavor of the cheese out. Again, not salty. I know it does say sea salt added, but it's not a salty meal. Could use a little bit of salt, maybe. If you want to add a little heat. It's not spicy. It's just flavorful. A lot of herb flavor in this one. And yes, you could drink it right out of the cup. In fact, I'm, when I get down to the stock loan, I'm going to be drinking it right out of my pot that I cooked it in. Okay, the ingredients for the soup are small. What I mean is that they're chopped up very fine. They're not large, chunky things floating around in your soup. So that's why you have to stir them constantly as you spoon it up. I will say, the taste of this is like something I've had in a restaurant. I'm trying to put my finger on it, but it's just got a nice herb taste. That would be from the herbs and spices as well as the kale that's in the soup. But once I put that meat in it, boom, it just... Just pop the flavor out. Okay, that's enough ranting on about how good this in is. I'll have to send Zora this video so that she can see what I've done with her two products. But uh, I'll enjoy the rest of this. And, uh, you know, let's just close up right here. If you have tried the Wild Zora products, and you already know about the quality that's in them. If you haven't, you may want to give it a try. They are certainly they're more expensive than a lot of the products out there. But the quality in terms of the healthy ingredients and the lack of preservatives and all those things that we sometimes worry about in our food makes them something worth considering. Uh, give it a try. You might actually like it. And if you have been trying the Wild Zora, try doing what I just did, putting one of those meat bars in with one of the soups. I think you'll like what it does when you put the two of them together. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.